Hi guys, if you like me and you don't like baking stuff in Blender, because baking anything in Blender is fucking awful. Uh, so you you know you don't want to bake ID maps. There, there's a, a really cool method um, called vertex painting, which can be used for creating IDs um, to texture stuff in programs like, for example, Substance Painter. So this was textured using vertex paint. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it. So once you unwrap your object, everything is ready. So this one's already unwrapped. This is a high poly, by the way. I wasn't I wasn't baking low poly, high poly. I didn't give a shit. So I just literally unwrapped high poly and textured high poly in 8K because it's for portfolio. So no one gives a, gives a donkey schmuck, you know. It doesn't matter if it's a high poly, low poly. It doesn't matter what's the a tris count. It's actually not that terrible. It's only 67K. I'm using, of course, uh, mid-poly beveling, which means I'm using one segmented bevels, okay, with hard normals, so uh, it works perfectly fine, okay? Cool, so now let me show you, right, how I would, uh, I would, you know, do the vertex painting, because it's really easy. So what you do is you select an, you know, an object, one of them, so one of the items on your model, and you want what you want to do is you go to want to go to face mode and select everything, right? Then you want to switch to vertex mode, to vertex painting mode. You can switch it either here, or you can switch it here with tab. Uh, if you're using machine tools like I do, uh, you can switch it here to vertex paint. Boom, and uh, you can pick a color. So you can pick it up here, or you can right click with your mouse and you can choose a color with your left mouse. Let's say blue. Then you press Shift K and you're done. If you don't see that being painted in here, what you can do is go here and turn the um, vertex colors. Okay, so you'll be able to see all the colors because uh, if you have only object selected, if you're going to deselect that, so you're going to go to object mode, you see it disappears. But when you switch here to vertex uh, mode, you'll be seeing that color on every single object, right? So just switch here to vertex, right? Now you select another one. You can see that also there's a shading problem here. I think it's a blender bug. Uh, the shading problem is non-existent in uh, object mode. It's not existent in render mode and it's non-existent in um, Substance Painter. So I think this is just a display bug uh, in edit mode. So, all right, and then you do it with every single object, right? There's not a trick I can show you. If you, for example, want to want Blender to remember this particular hex uh, that you chose, uh, you can go here to, to this setting here on the top. And when you select an object, go to face mode, select everything, um, then go to vertex paint and choose a color, let's say you know, green one, okay. What you can do, go here to color palette, right? And new, and then edit. So you will gonna remember it. So if I press shift K here, it's going to add it to this material, right? To this object. But now if I wanna repeat that, I can select the object, go to edit mode, to face mode, right? Select with A, and then um, go to vertex paint, right? And simply click, and then shift K. So it's gonna remember, right? That's how you can uh, assign the same color to some other, so you can create a palette of every single of these colors, right? It's a good idea to use colors that are easy to differentiate between themselves, okay? so. You know, something really blue, something really green, something really yellow, red, etc. Right. Well, after you finish, okay, all you need to do is export it. So simply select everything, and then you just go to Control S with Machine Tools, and you export as FBX, and you simply click Select Object, Selected Object Only, and you export it. Right. And then you then you go. It's, it's gonna get baked to your uh, to your settings. So now when you're gonna be in Substance Painter, right? So you're gonna load your object to Substance Painter. So let's just load it. So I'm gonna go new, right? Let's go with 4K, select, and I'm gonna select this one, and OK, and the discard changes, right? It's gonna load this object, OK? So I'm gonna move it here, right? And let me just move the light a little bit. And here, let's just remove that junk and let's go with some, I don't know, let's go with some, um, maybe like this color like that. Just drop it in here because that's retarded. Maybe this one is better. Yeah, that's more like it. So to be able to see that ID map, you need to bake it. I guess you need to bake it. So watch this. You're going to go here to texture setting, go to this icon and bake mesh maps. Okay. Then we don't really need normal map for this one, so I'm gonna disable it and thickness as well. And then 
you need to specify what kind of ID map you want to bake. So click on that and choose here vertex color, right? So not material, but vert come on, vertex color, right? And then bake, bake selected maps, right? And it's going to bake all the maps, okay? Just wait a bit. Boom, and you get your ID map. So now, when you're going to add a color, so go back to layers, and we're going to select on uh, this icon here, and we're going to add mask with color selection. Then you can see here, you can pick, and now you can see all these colors being baked. Because this is actually a, an FBX with all the properly bake, baked uh, uh, vertex colors. So then you can click on whichever you want, and it's going to get assigned then, right? So if you're going to assign like another color, um, you know, and do the same thing. So I'm going to go here and add a mask and pick a color. Now I can pick, you know, another color like this one, right? Boom. See what I mean? So it's really easy to texture it like that. So you don't have to fuck with, you know, these blender, blender baking tools, which are awful. You can just do it through, um, through the vertex color. Hope it helps you out guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next one.